Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play People's General. And the People's General here, General Ling, is now finding himself in Vietnam um, after having completed his missions in Russia and having helped in large part to, I guess, compel or convince, quote unquote, convince the Russians to come to the tables and sign a treaty or pact. I'm sure that the terms were mostly in the Chinese terms. Definitely seen some battles there and have really traveled through the Trans-Siberian Highway from the Russian Far East all the way through Central Asia now to almost on the doorsteps going up the Volga to Moscow but we didn't go to Moscow because uh, for some reason the Chinese were rather more keen to I guess protect the front so to speak they wanted to stabilize the front and kind of eliminate all the chances of the Russians attacking from the north while they are occupied in the south. So this is the so-called phase 2 of the Plan Red, which started off this entire campaign, the entire cause, and after the Russian Northern Front has been somewhat pacified. I'm not so sure whether it would be in ceasefire, but the terms would have been to get the Russians out of the uh, picture for a while at least, I think. The negotiations would have probably taken months if not years if it were actually you know happening in reality but um, I guess the Chinese could dictate to them what they wanted and I guess the Russians were just happy to get out of the war and try to maybe uh, refocus on building rebuilding their army pick up the pieces and maybe uh, you know when the things do not go right for the Chinese, maybe join in uh, and try to uh, cause sweet revenge. Um, after that, the code phase 2 involves apparently uh, General Ling and his forces joining in the attack to take over probably the most critical and most populous part of Vietnam, it seems. It's northern Vietnam and going for Hanoi and Haiphong, which are I think, one of the biggest cities in Vietnam. I think Hanoi is the capital actually of Vietnam, so yeah, we're just going for the jugular right here. Astounding victory if it were to come to pass because this is not like some outlying areas or cities where they could vie for positional initiative or anything like that, but this is actually the capital that they're trying to capture and basically put Vietnam out of the picture, just roll through Vietnam, spread Chinese influence in Southeast Asia. Yeah, so this is going to be a big operation and uh, for this amount of critical high stakes operation I think I got a rather small amount of prestige it seems at only 11.90 I guess the game thinks that I have enough units to be successful in certain scenarios I checked some of the prestige amount to go up to like 10,000 uh, where you have to buy the troops to I guess have the chance of beating that particular mission or scenario but uh, yeah I do have a you know, pretty uh, sizable army, and um, and I didn't really lose a lot of units in the last mission. It was surprisingly easy, like I mentioned, um, repeatedly said that I didn't expect this after coming from a rather tough venture out in Astrakhan. I'm not so sure why, but part of the reason was the air superiority was uh, rather um, low for the Russians, uh, surprisingly. Right now I have, I guess there's eight tanks, yeah, eight tanks. Um, I have around uh, 6, yeah, I think it's around 6 artilleries, 4 recons, uh, some of which I bought during the mission. And I have a whole ton of Antir, I think I have 12 of them, in fact, yeah, I have 12. And infantry, I have a lot of infantry, probably around 14, I'm not so sure I didn't count, that's 9. And I guess it's 10, so I guess 10 infantry, yeah and one helicopter. So yeah, it's pretty funny that I have the most amount of air defense out of all the units because I think the game definitely stresses uh, protecting your troops from the air units. And of course the air missions that are quite varied. 
can be pretty lethal if you do not guard against it. And speaking of which, let's check the area's superiority and yeah, wow, okay. 40% on our part, which is uh, quite surprising since uh, Northern Vietnam is kind of close to China, but you have to guess that this is like their capital. And Haiphong, the port, I think this is the most important seaport that Vietnam has, deep water seaport. Um, I guess it's traded rather close by their capital of like 6.5 million people. And Haiphong itself has like that millions of people as well. It's a really critical objective that China is gunning for and I'm kind of thankful that I didn't have to find my way through the border regions uh, in order to reach this particular area. But you can see the... I mean, I guess this is kind of removed from the concentration of Chinese air power. Although they could have sort of taken over the sea or the ocean. I think it's called South China Sea, where they could be there could be some presence of Chinese aircraft or even carriers or something that could mount air missions from there. But yeah, you can see the concentration of the Vietnamese defense kind of is reflected from the low air superiority level for the Chinese. And I'm kind of worried if this is going to amount to like air missions being flown insistently, picking apart our units and decreasing our leverage on the ground. So I think just like an Astrakhan, I need to probably leverage this Somehow to even the odds. Um, let's see. Um, let's see how much it cost. Uh, it doesn't really look good for good for us. I cannot even um, purchase. I don't have enough prestige to actually go above sixty five percent, which is uh, something that I didn't expect. Um, Fifty five seems to be. Yeah. Wow. Five percent per two hundred prestige cost, which is. Very expensive indeed. I don't know whether this was this expensive before. So 40 is the where I started and I need to go up to... How much should I spend on air superiority? Should I go for 50%? Uh, if I do that, then I will not have anything even to purchase a unit. I need to probably uh, look to over strength units and make do with what I have. Um, I think I need to purchase a bit more anti-aircraft air defense units. Yeah, I think that should be the order of the day. Uh, let's see, let's see if I can purchase artillery or something because I have uh, really found a good use for this WS-1 in the last mission. It has been very, very powerful unit. If you had a leader that, such as this guy with a devastating fire, then basically you have so much power in your hands to decrease entrenchment and just break any kind of defense in one turn so that the other units will be able to capture that particular point or go through it. Uh, monitor is the new unit. I think this is only a unit that the Chinese had given uh, or introduced in this phase, the phase 2, alongside the 7-1 which has left its prototype stage apparently. I have the prototype 071 which I think has identical rating has been pretty successful, has a leader now, so I don't know if I can actually upgrade it to a normal 071. I think I can. Yeah, I think that should come later. Let's just check the the price for this monitor. Yeah, it becomes really expensive. I can only afford one of these units. So I guess I can go for... Yeah, even that is even prohibitively expensive. Yeah, it's too bad. Maybe I should just go for upgrade and see if I can upgrade it. 0701 to the... No, I can't. So this is basically locked into prototype status. I cannot overstrength this unit. Yeah. Some of these units do seem to maybe gain a bit more in upgrading this to 07-1. Like for example, 27 and you know, like larger amount of defense and of course the hard target rating. Uh, attack rating. But 99-1 is no slouch. So I guess I keep these guys for this mission at least. Oh uh, yeah, how about these guys? Maybe I should add some... Yeah. The tank abilities. Uh, at least one of them should have it because I think it to increase a bit further if I can overstrength these guys um, as much. Yeah, so this guy 
to upgrade this, it requires 180 prestige points. I guess I would just keep uh, WS Dash 1, although the monitor offers a bit more ground defense, or well, a lot more de ground defense, and has a multi counter battery, which means that it can fire multiple times in supporting your unit in defensive action. And there's a pretty good amount of attacks, especially against the infantry. This is going to just devastate any infantry unit, even in infringed form, I think. Yeah, otherwise, um, the range kind of suffers. The range, I think, it shares with the rest of the Chinese mobile artillery unit. Yeah, six. Which is pretty decent if you're able to, you know, protect your unit. But this is not as devastating as the WS-1, which can be safely hidden away and just proceed to lob these missiles as crazy uh, type of projectiles, special munitions, toward the defender's way. Yeah, anything I can upgrade? Um, yeah, some of the infantry units like Type 99 could be served better if it is upgraded to Type 05. So right now I have 11 ground defense, but this increases to 16, which helps a lot, especially uh, for leaders, I guess I will upgrade this guy. 36, it's not really that much. So any other leader infantry type 99s? Yeah, for example, this guy as well. I will upgrade this guy, yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty good. I have three engineers um, and one is breaching. Should I give this guy breaching as well. I have 576, so let's see if I can overstrength some of these guys. 16, that's good enough. Cannot yeah overstrength this guy. How about this guy? Yeah, I need to probably give this guy what is this? Uh Street Fighter, I think it's going to help if it gets overstrength, but I need I think I'm going to yeah upgrade this guy further. Oh no, I can't, I did already overstrength this guy to maximum. Okay. Yeah, I think for the most part I think I did pretty well in taking care of the tank force. Let's see if I can upgrade the infantry, which I think sadly had basically was where I spread the last remaining prestige points across. I think this time around, it's the infantry that will get the first prestige in order to overstrength. So this guy could be overstrength a bit. Yeah, and this guy also. Uh, engineers, yeah. It's not really too expensive compared to the tanks and other, even the artillery. Airborne, should I really do it? Nah, probably not. Because airborne does not really get itself into a lot of hard fights. It just goes to... Like I explained, I think, in the last mission. It just goes as a shock troop. And I think 21 is pretty good enough for that element. It doesn't get itself involved in like, this protracted warfare or attrition where every strength unit could be counted upon. But yeah, they're not on the front line such as this type 99 guy, so I probably yeah get these guys also. Right, uh, should I save? Yeah, I think I should save because I forgot to... No, not this. Yeah, let's save because I forgot to see the map first. Yeah, I don't know why I forgot, but I need to see the map. Alright, so let's see the map. Sorry about that. Um, oh, did I actually notice it was 10 turns for Green Victory? I think it is. Yeah, I mean, 10 turns. I guess the Russian missions could have been around that area also, especially near like Astrakhan and all those major cities. But this is like the Vietnamese capital, so you gotta have that. You gotta expect more hardened defense and measures have been taken, and I think it requires, yeah, definitely 10 turns to get over all that and to be able to achieve a brilliant victory. Okay, so this is the outlying area of Hanoi. I think this is Hanoi, yeah, big city. 6.5 million people live here, so I mean, you cannot really imagine from this map how many people would have been... You can't really tell from this map, you know, all the dead amount of people would be living here. Um, but then if this is just, uh, you know, approximation of what it looks like. Haiphong is here, it's another yeah, big city. And we start from different road, yeah, kind of uh, split off from the beginning. This group has two, uh, cap and airfield, so okay. 
Maybe this is where I should place my helicopter. And this, I guess, let's just call them Group East. It's going to just follow the road and capture this area. And perhaps I can give a contingent of infantry to go up here and capture these areas because I'm sure that these guys are guarded. Not heavily, but like the Russians, they have some light infantry guarding here, which could be problematic. And this is all river. Songluk Nan stream. Just a stream, but yeah, it's pretty sizable and it's going to block our progress if I do not have river assault. And after we've taken the group east, um, Nam Mao, sorry. Uh, this is all wetlands, so yeah, this is going to be more or less blocked. Uh, kind of wondering if we can make in time for the other group, the group west. As they make their way through south, capture Hanoi, and yeah, make another long trek across toward Haiphong. I think it's a bit of a... Yeah, I need to really plan ahead to see. Maybe I should split my troops right here and bring some of them to capture Bak Nin and just use them as some kind of a reserve and help the cause here um, while the rest of the troops will go this way. It's kind of difficult to anticipate what kind of defensive measures have been taken or what kind of units are there. But I'm sure that there will be the strongest amount of resistance around here, around here, and of course here using the river as the natural border. As far as the river assault is concerned, this mission I think also needs river assault because I don't think I'll be able to be flexible enough to get engineers deployed here and here or anywhere in this Red River in order to make use of the operational range for the tanks and artillery and infantry. So a river assault is definitely something that I need to just leave it um, along with the air defense because the air security is going to be very important. I'm counting on the Vietnamese to have the Russian weapons as well. Uh, yeah, Russian weapons will definitely come into play. I don't know whether they have the latest Russian weapons, the best and the, and the largest, or the kind of outmoded ones that I faced in uh, my trek across Central Asia. Kind of hoping it's the latter, um, but then I don't know. I have to actually play this mission to see. I guess I give this guy um, special missions. And also maybe bring in another scout. Yeah, I think I lost my scout which is able to screen troops. So I need to probably do that. Uh, just bring in this guy, um, this guy. Uh, yeah, that's good enough or BRDM1 type. All right, and one more air defense, just in case. Let's see, yeah, it's pretty cheap. It's not too bad. Let's see, which has the longer range, uh, this one. Yeah, I guess it has more protection and range as well, but then this one, I guess, gives a bit lower profile, which means it can hide better. Uh, and it has better defense against aircraft, but I do already have what is called Grumbles, which is the best of both worlds. Let's see if I can upgrade uh, the Russian air defense. Let's go first with this guy. Yep, it's stagnant. The Russians really did not, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, there was no um, progress made in introducing any new troops in this field. This seems pretty cool, but I think it kind of loses out. No, actually it's the same. Yeah, the same type of unit. So, all right. Okay, so let's see. Um, any more? I can upgrade or overstrength some of these guys a bit more. Let's see, what should I? Yeah, and one more. Oh, no, not even that. I think I can get this guy though. Oh, 18, yeah, sure, why not? Okay. So let's save. I don't know whether it's going to be useful, but just in case. Alright, let's go into Hanoi. Um, yeah, so this area is going to be seeing the largest amount of deployment. And this area is going to be um, more of a... Not an afterthought, but 
the western side is going to see the biggest amount of concentration of troops. And they have to really burn a lot of fuel. So I will give our best tank, of course, to serve as a spearhead. Give a couple of... Not screen, but um, yeah, I guess yeah, screen guy will come out later, but I need a scout. And also I need that HQ to deploy more troops here. Let's see. Where is that truck? Yeah, here we go, the magic school bus, a magic truck. Yeah, I need to have a multiple deployment in this area because I don't think I'll be able to bring any sizable force without uh, without this guy. Let's see, this Street Fighter, I think I need Street Fighter, so yeah, sure. And one more good tank, Devastating Fire, sure, yeah, this guy is also very important. Okay, so yeah, and WS1 here. You know what, WS1 should be here because I think it's more spread out and it's going to better serve as a... It's gonna give a whole lot of a punch in taking over this part if it really uh, requires us to do that, to protect our flank. So I give uh, some other... Yeah, let's give this guy here. Here, uh, I guess... I don't know about one infantry, but two infantry we have to oh, it's a wetland, so I can actually pass through here. Okay. Yeah, it is all wetland. There's like a forest here. Um, I may have to protect my guys here or my um, point. So I guess I put two anti tanks as protection first of all, and well, yeah. Scout, that's for sure. And another scout. Screen, I think I need screen. Um, let's see. Yeah, scout and the other guy is also... Okay, I didn't deploy any um, scout here, so yeah, I need to leave that recon. So I can deploy it later. I give... Skill reconnaissance, yeah sure, I will give this guy to see a bit better what is up ahead. Two tanks, um, I have three more tanks left. I give three tanks here. Yeah, I think I give... I don't know about this guy, I think this guy will be serving us a bit better. Like here in this area, I think it's going to need that kind of firepower. So I will give 99, one more 99 here. Uh, it's all forest, so... I think if it's deployed there, some of the units will not be able to get out as easily. Rangers will be able to get out. So I give that. And of course the helicopter. Scout is already there. Um, the infantry will... And of course some guys and I think for this area I need to bring in some anti-air to start with because I think uh, this area especially this objective is not going to be the deployment or supply zone or supply point. Is it supply point? No actually this is a supply point so I can bring in extra units but here I don't think this is supply point. Oh this is a supply point. Okay sorry about that. Supply point is able to, I think, give you a deployment zone, one hex around, and of course on the objective. And this is also supply point, I think, so yeah, I think I'll be able to bring in units, but just want to make sure that I'm protected. And of course I need to bring some uh, units there as well. HK7, yeah, definitely. And this green Tunguska. Okay, so let's begin. Well, yeah, this is pretty bad. Yeah, I think this is night as well. No, actually it's day, okay, so I can see a bit farther. So let's see what's up in the outlying areas. I see... Oh, I see some anti-tanks. They were definitely well prepared for us. And I see some heavy tanks, TVU. Yeah, definitely. Uh, can I check what they have here? No, I can't. 
Type 63 tank, which is a uh, yeah, very light tank. Can travel pretty far though, so I need to be careful. I wanna check out what is here, but I think my movement has been spent already. So let's just wait. And can I deploy more? Yeah, I think I can. Let's move some units first. I need to deploy this guy and try to see if I can damage these guys. Yeah, I think I can. Um, let's just spend our first attack on this guy. Maybe I can overrun. I can't. Maybe they have artillery nearby in close support. I can overrun this guy, which is good. Nice. Apple 5 doing pretty well on Street Fighter. Yeah. Let's see if I can damage this guy as well. Um, what else can I bring? I have one more or two more artilleries to bring in. Which are basically one of the most important units. And the infantry will, I guess, try to mop up this area. Let's see how well they do. Type of 5. Uh, it's a leader, aggressive attack. Let's see, do I have any other type of 5s? I have some engineers, which are pretty good against the hard armor targets. So I guess I bring in one engineer or two. Defender engineer, yeah, I think that's going to work out pretty well. Okay, um, I think, yeah, maybe I, I need more scout, actually. I just have to see what's um, there. Let's see, our mission point, 28, pretty decent. Wow, 1 and 11, hmm. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. No matter. 8 and 1. Alright, 3 and 4, maybe I can overrun. Yep. Yep, good, good. And as you can see, there's a unit there that was identified. So maybe I can have a look see. Okay, so it's a leg infantry. Let's see, I haven't seen this guy before. 7 7, pretty good. Close defense, close attack values. Pretty decent against the uh, armor target. Of course, it has an uh, anti tank attachment. I think this is like um, equivalent to the Russian light infantry. It kind of has a short sleeve, of course, because Vietnam is rather warm at this time of the year. Yeah, April 15th, probably around 25 or 26 Celsius degrees or 180 degrees Fahrenheit for those who uses that scale. Uh, okay, I think I can finish this guy off. Yeah. Okay, no, that's not good. No, that's not good. Yeah, artillery attack. Yeah, I can still move. And so is this guy. Alright, so should I bring in another scout? The screen, there's a scout. I think I have a scout here as well, right? Yeah, so I have a scout there. I'm kind of wondering if I should be using scout here. Because, um, because they have like different... No, I think the other area is much more important. I'm guessing that it will have even more, more defensive units, so I need to really make sure that I identify all of them before it becomes too late. Yeah, so leg infantry or light infantry. They do have light infantry, which is... Um, Different from the leg infantry, I don't know what's the difference. Oh, it's a bit better in the close defense and... This guy has a... Uh, oh, infiltrator tactic which means it ignores zone of control. You can just pass through by. Yeah, could be pretty uh, interesting. One and four, okay. I think I can do a bit better using the helicopter. Um, but I don't think I have a... Slight idea of how their air defense is like. So before we forget, let's put some air defense units, like Grumbles, yeah, these guys, and then newly purchased LY60. Yeah, before I forget, that is. Okay, so... One and eight, uh, there's another tank. I have no choice but to attack. Ah, okay, so they have a stagger artillery. And I didn't lose at all. Wow, this is a very impressive, very promising start so far. Overrun, and what is this? Uh, BM-21 into artillery. Uh, pretty good against hard targets, and of course devastating against soft targets. So I think I need to 
destroy it as fast as possible. And these guys are, I mean, TD use are pretty impressive, but they're not that strong. Um, I don't know. Doesn't seem so. Anti tank, tank. Okay. Let's deploy more tanks here. Um, maybe my HQ can travel a bit farther up. Yeah, and then deploy. Let's see, type 991 is able to go up. Perhaps and overrun this guy. 6 and 4? Okay, not bad. Yeah. Overrun? Nope. Ah, okay. Uh, I think I, I'm in the yeah, range of this guy, that's why, okay. Yeah, I think I'm a bit being premature here. Uh, I think I'm rushing things a bit. Yeah. Need to be pretty careful. Uh, this guy probably would be able to be very impressive in applying a pretty good... Let's see. Uh, let's park it here and then see if I can... Yeah. Very impressive. Let's attack this guy. Oh my goodness, destroyed it in one attack. Goodness gracious. 9-3. Wow. And now I have a better chance against that guy. But um, if I am able to use the infantry, I need to uh, make sure that I divide the infantry between these two columns, so to speak, these two groups. So I guess I have to give uh, one engineer to along that area along with the infantry leader or I can give infantry leader right here uh, I think I will do that and airborne is going to I think yeah be on this side engineer and I think other engineer is going to be joining this guy so two engineers going to go to the other side and um, some of the mechanized infantry will join us right here um, along the road, if it's possible. Yeah, I'm sure that I'd be able to destroy this guy. Uh, yeah, good. And some other tanks that have been deployed will be able to engage these guys. Let's see. Clear, clear. Yeah, it's not really good, huh? Oh my goodness, what is that? Oh. Oh, just destroyed that, right? Yeah, very powerful. Tanks indeed. Um, clear, so I just park here. And here comes the HQ7s and all the. Let's see. Yeah, I give this guy here as well. Protect the flank and. I guess let's get this guy right here. Uh, yeah. Inventory or artillery will... Um, could be a bit soft here, so... Engineer. Is it engineer? No, this is HQ7. So, um... Sorg is a bit of a... Not that one. I think I will use uh, Tunguska for that. Protecting the flank, but I can also give um, one of these guys to protect it. Let's see. It's a wetland, so yeah, it's going to be hampered. Type 05, this is influence, smart gambler. Type 05. Yeah, it's going to be blocked away, so. Yeah, more or less blocked away. 4 and 7, I will not do that. Okay. I'm gonna take this point as well. Yeah, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and move here. Um, four and seven. Can do better than that. Maybe with a helicopter. Get this. Yeah, 4 and 9. Ah, well, I think the casualty is a bit too high. Let's see. Yeah, this will get, yeah, going to get hit. But it's not really that impressive against the hard target. So I think I can be rest assured there because I don't have a lot of soft units. 
on the front lines. Okay, let's see if I can protect these guys a bit more. Um, although I need to, I need to um, see. No, not this guy, Tunguska. Um, so Tunguska, can you actually follow? Yeah, I think you can. Yeah, he's a tracked vehicle, so he's able to help us in that regard. Okay, so let's concentrate here and see what we have up. We already in one scout. Yeah, let's see what we have here. Not a lot of um, defenses. Yeah, so leg infantry. So let's begin our journey in this side. What the? Oh, counter battery. Yeah, I should have known that. Just clicked. That's too bad. Okay, Type 63. I think I can do pretty well against this tank and overrun it even. But let's get this guy off our backs first. Yeah. And open, a, open the way. And maybe I can overrun this guy as well in the forest. No. Yes. Is this infiltrator? Yeah, skill reconnaissance. Oh, ambushed. Ah, oh, this is bad. Okay. I was foolish. Very foolish. 